gathered here today in the sight of God and in the presence of this company to witness the union of Michael and Leanne in Christian marriage. Originated in divine goodness, designed to promote human happiness and holiness, it is the foundation of the family, so must remain until the end of time. It was sanctioned and honored by the presence and power of Jesus at the wedding in Cana of Galilee, and it marked the beginning of his miraculous works. It was commended of Paul to be hold, held in honor among all men. It is one of the most important steps in life and is therefore not to be entered into unadvisedly or lightly, but reverently, responsibly, and in the fear of God. When God created man and placed him in the Garden of Eden, he saw immediately that it was not good for him to be alone. So he prepared a companion ideally suited for him. In this act of creation, God took and made woman from the side of man that she should be his equal, and from close to his heart, that he should love, cherish, and honor her. Marriage is God's good gift to deliver us from our isolation and our loneliness. That's why the book of Genesis declares, therefore shall a man leave his father and mother, and shall cleave unto his wife, and they shall be one. The day is finally here that we both waited for for so long. As those close to us know, the road to get here was not easy, but it was worth the wait because in the end, we found each other. And I can't think of a better partner to balance me out and to journey with for the rest of my life. In the four years that we have been together, we have experienced happiness and joy some struggles and challenges, great accomplishments, and many fun adventures together. But what has always remained present is our love and trust for each other. And my love for you has grown stronger every day. I could list out all the many reasons why I love you, but that would take forever. In front of all of our loved ones today, I promise to be honest, loving, faithful wife for all my days. I promise to always order my own set of fries so you don't have to share yours, as I know how much potatoes mean to you. It's true. I promise to have popcorn ready as a late night snack, especially on movie nights. I promise to love your family and care for them just as my own. I promise to always be your biggest supporter, your best friend, travel buddy, and loyal confidant. Even with the global pandemic and local wildfires, Love and life is not canceled. I am so happy we are moving forward today as we lean on God to carry us through. Michael Copley, I prayed for you before I even knew you. Now I have tomorrow to look forward to, for God has given me you. I choose you today and every day, all the days of my life. I love you so much, Mom. I'm Michael. Promise to never give up on us, and I will always work hard to make you feel loved and cherished because you are. I promise to accept you for you and build you up every day and help you become the woman that God wants you to be. I will encourage you in your faith and will help you grow and become stronger every day. I will serve you daily and love you unconditionally all the days of my life. I look forward going to bed with you every night and waking up to your beautiful face every day. I can't wait to cook for you, which you know I love to do, and continue to build what God has created for us as a couple. I'm excited to build a family with you because I know that you'll be an amazing mother to our children. 
thank you for always loving me for me and being the best friend I always dreamed of. Mahal na mahal kita maganda. With my whole heart and all that I am, I give to you. So Michael and Leanne, in these moments I've heard you pledge your love and your faith to each other. All of your friends and family members assembled here at Witness you seal your solemn vows of marriage by the giving and receiving of ring. So now, it is my great joy and privilege as a minister of the gospel of Jesus Christ to pronounce you lawfully married, husband and wife. Kiss your bride. Friends and family of the bride and groom, it is my great joy and pleasure to present to you for the very first time, Mr. and Mrs. Michael Copley. Woo!